Well, you hear the sound, you know it's time for our Friday Sports Report. And here with the latest news and notes is, of course, who else? As I always say, Sunny Young with the Sunny Side of Sports. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Dimmy, and sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. In this segment, we take a look at boxing in Ghana, a country that's produced some of Africa's greatest fighters. In the capital, Accra, central neighborhoods of Jamestown and Bukum, they put the gloves on at an early age. Some children are as young as five when they start learning to box. There are about 16 boxing gyms in the two neighborhoods. They aren't fancy. Most have simple equipment like wooden planks and old metal chair frames. One of the most respected and sought after coaches is Napoleon Tago, a former Ghanaian cruiserweight champion. Tago tells us boxing brings hope to youth who often feel trapped by poverty, unemployment, and lack of education. I set up the gym because I want my community to know or to go for because the poverty we live in this area is it's not like people call 40, 20, 85 percent. As a boxer, you can make a lot of money in boxing. You know, bo there's, there's, there's money in boxing. If, if only um, you are a very good boxer, you can make money. You understand? And you can be famous. Thomas Awinbono is a Ghanaian middleweight title holder who dreams of becoming a famous world champion. Thomas has won 15 fights in a row, all in Ghana. He's inspired by past Ghanaian world champions like Ike Bazooka Quarte and Joseph King Kong Agbeko, who we see on the left. However, the man many regard as both Ghana and Africa's greatest fighter is Azuma the Professor Nelson, who had his last professional bout in 2008. Nelson was a three-time world champion in two weight classes, featherweight and super featherweight. Azuma Nelson became a national hero in Ghana after achieving worldwide fame. His international success has made him the patriarch of Ghana boxing. Young fighters in Accra and other parts of Ghana now follow in his footsteps, hoping to fulfill their own boxing dreams. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Demiaki? All right. Well, thank you so much, Sonny. Always an interesting sports roundup there. And join Sonny Young every Monday and Fridays right here on In Focus.